where are we getting our power in our cities? Uh, why not get power from renewable sources such as wind, uh, such as solar? And certainly in a place like the East River and certainly in a place like the rivers of Pittsburgh, there's a lot of potential wind energy that could be utilized to create more beauty in the city. So I use lots of environmental sensors, pollution sensors, weather sensors, and light can present that information to the public in real time. Today, for a relatively low cost, you can present very bright and very flexible lighting displays with LEDs. Uh, light uses a significant amount uh, less energy than it ever has. So to use uh, LED lights that are extremely low power uh, consumption uh, is a really effective message for this artwork energy flow. As a programmer, it's really satisfying to like create really cool animations and stuff. And I think there's just something fundamentally captivating about um, light art pieces, especially interactive ones. And we'll have uh, animations going up and down the LED uh, strips. We definitely want to highlight the wind turbines also at certain times. In the Energy Flow project, we're activating the Rachel Carson Bridge with LED strips along the suspension columns on the bridge and we have a weather station capturing live weather data as well as wind turbines that are generating energy. The energy powers the LED strips and the weather station provides us live weather data. I can emit over 24 million colors with a controllable LED pixel and create movement and create form and emotion 